Welcome to Small Lake. I found this anonymous bar of stock, round stock, of stainless steel of unknown type thrown around somewhere. And I want to make something out of it. And the idea is to make a tool, a woodworking carving tool, and I'm using these inserts. Don't know if you can see these properly. Let's try the box. I think that's better. So I've milled a flat space over here. Not fully, this thing is in the way, but I don't, I don't care. I'm going to mill half of it. Let me get my scrubber. I'm going to mill half of it long enough for me to generate enough space for the carbide insert. And then I'm going to drill a hole for it. A two and a half millimeter hole that would accommodate a three millimeter tap. Let's start. This is one last pass just to make sure I'm properly leveled. And I'm holding the stock properly. I did, I did fasten it. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but we got a fairly nice surface cut from this pass. And I think for this run it's good enough. I'll actually turn the taper at this side to match the taper over here, okay? Which is a 60 degree taper, obviously. So what I'll do now is I'll raise the whole block and stop it at its maximum downward point at half the distance. Well, I hope you can see it. We have a nice clear 90 degree angle exactly midway, as much as I can verify. I'll measure that in a minute with a micrometer. So our next, next task is to take a center drill bit, a starting drill bit, and make a center hole, drill a hole, and tap it. What I'll be doing is, I hope, would be quite accurate. What I'm doing is very simple. I have a two and a half millimeter drill bit held backwards so it's centered and I know how thick it is. It's a brand new bit. It's a carbide, sorry not a carbide, it's a um, cobalt drill bit. I'll lower it so it's below the surface over here. And now what I have to do is take a piece of paper, roughly 0.1 millimeters in thickness and place it between them and as soon as I feel the slightest resistance and this can't move we're 0.1 millimeters away let me see check that again there we go so we're touching What I'll do now is I'll raise it above and move 0.1 millimeters forward. That's the distance of the paper. Now I have to move half of the distance of the bit which is 1.25 millimeters so we're at let me clear that because there we go we're at 0 0.1 so I'll be moving one point two five Bingo. 
So the center of the spindle, or the center of the drill bit, should be now just over the edge. Now I need to move it exactly half the thickness. So this bar is 8.35 millimeters, which means I need to cut it to move. Sorry, not cut, but move 4.175 millimeters or 1.7. Since I don't have any increments below 0.05, then I'll have to move uh, 4.15 millimeters. So there we go. I'll mark this line and move one, two, three, four point one five. We're now exactly at the center of this rod along the axis. Now we need to find the exact spot where to drill. To do that, we'll have to do the same trick on the other axis. Oopsie. Ah, that's something I didn't plan for. My drill bit can't reach the other end. My travel, my carriage travel has ended. So <laughs> I'll have to reset on the whole the thing and then redo it. I'll I won't bore you with this because it's the same process along the x y axis, x axis and the y axis. I'll show it to you in a minute once we're centered. Now that I find the right center, now I can drill a starting hole and continue with this two and a half millimeter drill bit. Really spinning. Now I can finally release it, release the work, and release the tap, and, sorry, wrong way, <laughs> uh, right, let me get that cleaned up a bit. We got a bit of a burr here, we have a nice center pole. I'll just clean the burr in a second. Okay, we have a nice clean setup. So this is an M3 nut. Oh yeah. It's grabbing on quite nicely. And let's see how it does with our whoops triangular unit over there. And there we go. Let me see that. You have got to be kidding. Okay, we have a slight problem. Apparently, this carbide bit should have been three millimeter inner diameter, and it's slightly narrower. So much for Chinese bits. It doesn't go through. <laughs> Planning ahead is wonderful. 
especially when it doesn't help one bit. <laughs> so in theory, <laughs> this should, well, should have worked. I'll have to redo the whole thing and try and see what I can do with the insert. We stop with a small problem that this M3 nut is not going through this supposedly M3 carbide bit. What I did was to make a small taper using a diamond bit, a Dremel diamond bit, and now as you can see it fits. I think we're done. This insert is held quite nicely in this method. I do have to remove these ends, of course, which I'll do off camera. And then we're done. We have clearance over here at the bottom. This is an M6 wrench. We'll use it as a bar to slide over. And give it a go. I'm running at low speed. Let's see if I can do that. I'll give that come back up with my finger. Oh, far better. Give it an angle. Oh, now it cuts nicely. I should say I never turned wood before. Watching many fine YouTube uh, woodworkers like Tim Yoder and um, others I can't recall at the moment. I think this is called sneaking on a bead. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, I'm shaking you because the camera is mounted on the lathe base. Let's try again. Well, I think this tool has proved itself, and I'm pretty pleased with it, if I say so myself. I can say that although I do love metalworking, wood turning is sure fun. So I'll put some links below for wood turners. I love to watch and see. There are quite a few channels, and they're really amazing. Brilliant movies. Super creative. I highly recommend it. Hope you enjoyed it, thanks for watching and bye.